Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Right Man Joe Now. We're just here chilling today. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that bell and subscribe. And uh, please comment if you want to. All right, what we're doing today is pretty much we're just cooking leftovers. It's Friday night. We've been on quarantine for how long, guy? I mean, baby. A about a month. We've been on quarantine for about a month. Really, it's not a lot to do. So, the only thing we did today was we just took leftover. We got the field peas from uh, Margaret Holmes. Some plantain that we roasted, and uh, we got ribs just left over. And pretty much, we're just gonna sit here and just go over topics and different stuff, uh, whatever. Just whatever, guys. So I hope you enjoy eating our field peas with us. Mmm. Plantain. Go ahead. What are you talking about? Mmm. -hmm. Plantain, man. It's really good. It's something I just started really eating. I tried when I was younger, but it wasn't for me. But then my friend uh, from Honduras, he was cooking them joints with just butter. What kind of butter that was? Oh, he was dipping them in sour cream and right. cheese. Right. He would fry them and then dip them in this extra capacity sour cream and like some, oh yeah. So what I do is put them in the air fryer. Yes. We put them in the air fryer, we roast them in the roasting bag mm -hmm. with meat, and it tastes like the meat that we cook it with. What's the name of it? Cotilla cheese, that's what I am looking for. Mm -hmm. The name is Cotilla cheese. Man, the fish coil didn't go well. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. I gotta go take that up there Sunday. So they've been following us. I got like, I had 14 fish. Uh, like, four lived and the other 10 died, so I gotta go see what's going on. That's what I've been craving, like field peas and onions. Mm. I don't know why. Yo, but this, this is plantain in here? This is how I like it. I spilled it. You said plantain in here? I'll clean that up later. Mm. Plantain in what? Plantain? It was just, mm -hmm. it was ridiculous. Yeah, because like we, we roasted them and we ate them the first day when we made them with the ribs and they were really good. They, they were really savory because um, usually when we eat plantains, we eat them sweet, but they were really savory in the ribs. And now, I mean, after a couple, like a day, they're a little bit drier and they, I guess they taste better in the juice. Mm hmm. But what is in the meat? These are fit. Feel and chicken snacks. Chicken mm -hmm. snacks. I'm gonna show you the market um, home. So I became a market homes. My fan was when we was in Iraq. Mm -hmm. People used to send us a uh, care pack, and they would send me care packets of market home greens and and um, different peas and different products. So I said, when I get home, this is all I'm missing. I'm eating market homes. Stuff that just made me through the desert because sometimes I didn't want to go to any child house. Right, you didn't? They just killed the motherfucker in the child house. I'm, I'm not going in there. Yeah. I didn't have no choice. <laughs> they was bringing us out of there because anyway, we was going to garden. We hired a local people, we fighting to cook the food. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, we had some training, but they didn't really tell us like the difference. You know what I mean? You didn't know what what a uh, well. I guess you did, but you didn't know the difference between all the people. Mm -hmm. I mean, their religion's not the same. Their culture's not the same. They all look alike, but they're not from the same places. Mm -hmm. and they don't all do the same thing. So it was it was it was awkward. It was awkward as fuck. Especially at the front gate when you gotta like, you know, like shake people down and then these motherfuckers, sorry, these people like after you shake them down and like do all, <laughs> they ask you if you want some ice cream. Like for real? For real? I just almost damn near humiliated you. Like I made you like spread your legs and I had to check under you, you and your vehicle and you asking me do I want some ice cream? No. <laughs> no, I don't want no ice cream. But they will go 
Like when they were like the truck drivers when they would leave and go places and shit, they would bring us food back. Mm-hmm. They would bring us stuff back. Oh, and I, I mean, I would take it, but I want to eat it. I want like they would go to McDonald's. Like it was McDonald's, like cone, and they would bring it back. So I got a story. Funny. Mm-hmm. With dudes like one of the natives, he was like, <clears throat> "You want some porn?" Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, man. I never seen no, no porn from, you know, over here where we at. Mm-hmm. Man, we get the porn. The chick was dressed like her. She was a belly dancer, like I dream of Jean. So I'm like, what? What? That's porn? So I took him booty top, forty something like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is porn for us. I ain't never seen him no more. <laughs> you messed him up. <laughs> Mm. So the field piece is pretty good. Mm-hmm. If I got it out right now. All that juice. Y'all are thinking of t- subjects. Like, mm-hmm. So coming up for us, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about our air fry. We're going to update y'all on the new wave. We're going to update you on the, well, the pool. We're going to update y'all on the jacuzzi. Mm-hmm. Um, the other project that we want to get is we want to get some furniture later on down the line, but we're not in a hurry. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got stuff that we want to share with y'all from Stoneberries, such as uh, our pot hanging rack and how we're going to install the pot hanging rack. Mm-hmm. We have also the uh, new pots. We got new pots coming and new knife sets coming that we're going to hang up and have those uh, stored for you guys. Mm-hmm. I think we got a lot of stuff. Is that new knives? Knives. No. Knives. Oh. I think we got a couple of couple of things in store. I'm hoping that um I'm hoping that the coronavirus pass over so we can start making some forward progress with our construction business and with the real estate because uh how test been pushed back to June now. So this is like the third, fourth time. Oh, okay. You gotta cancel twice. I'm not gonna it. The first time I can reschedule it for May. Yeah, I gotta set myself to take my my test. Excuse me, guys. I know. Yeah, I gotta set myself to take my test as well. But I mean, what can you do? They're not gonna let you take the PSI, so they're not gonna let you take the test at home. Mm-hmm. My damn sister won't do anybody. It has to be proctored. Right. And and I mean I guess the only like real limitation is the amount of people you can have in one space, you know. Because uh, if if you can't have more than ten people in one space, then you know that means you can only have a certain amount of people scheduled for one day. Right. It can't be like twenty or thirty like it was before. It can only be maybe five because you have your employees and all that, and that's cutting down on their business. And I guess it really doesn't make sense for them. To have right. people come to their establishment because they see, have enough money. Did you see Florida is opening up the beaches? This afternoon they opened the beaches. A lot, of, a lot of states are opening back up. Mm-hmm. A lot of them are, but I don't think we are. No. A lot of them are opening back up. No, we need to take it easy. So we're in Virginia, guys. Yeah, we need to take it easy because yeah. you don't know. And I don't want to send my kid back to no school with the. Because uh, I'm telling you, I don't know. I'm not putting it on the kids. But if y'all haven't noticed this, the ones who got kids, since my kids are older now, you know when you send their asses to school, and, and the school just started, they go get a call, and they bring it right home to you. What did they get it from? School. A virus is spread. The children. No. <laughs> People. I, I mess with you. They don't, they don't spread through the children. I mean, yeah, they're easy because they don't wash their fucking hands. That's the reason why we have having a problem now. People, not, people are not sanitary. People are gross. I know it. People are gross. I seen a dude digging his booty the other day. Cause it's hard for me. Like I love to wash my hands and I, don't, I like to touch my face. So I don't like putting my hands to my face. Like, you, you should tell you now, I just had a freak out a moment ago. I touched my wallet. I didn't know if I, I, didn't know if I sanitized my wallet. Mm-hmm. I spray everything, my face, everything. She run for me, but that's she get. Cause I when I walk in the house, what you did? I what laughed you? at you. I was 
Well, you got to wait so I ain't spray you. Well, yeah, because I didn't need to be sprayed. I don't leave the house. Excuse You needed to be sprayed. You sprayed, you sprayed your face. You sprayed your hands. You sprayed everything with peroxide. Everything. You well, sprayed. I wanted to be per, per, <laughs> I wanted to be smell good. You sprayed there. So, look, let's talk about this stoneberry stuff. And my, uh, oh, this, all right. So, soap should be ready here soon, guys. I'm really thinking about uh, us starting a cologne, a man cologne. I don't know how many black owned cologne uh, companies there are, but I'm really thinking about starting one. Or oh, adding it to our lineup. It's going to cost me a little bit because you got to pay for the formula to get made. And and then it takes Packaging like. And yeah, it takes like four weeks. So, because they're going to make it, then they send it back to you. Uh, you smell it, see if you like it. If you don't, you tell them what you want. They send it back. So my goal is, hey, I would love to get my uh, to get my own line of uh, cologne. We need to look at how many black on cologne companies are there. Mm-hmm. Let's see where I'm here. Okay, Google. You little bitch. How many black on comp- cologne companies are there? Six. Well, it's going to be seven. Yep. I'm gonna put my face on there and put Mimi on there. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all about me. Yeah, it, well, no. Uh, you know, I have to be uh, <laughs> catchy, French or whatever. But oh, we ain't French. Yeah. Hey, it just had to have some kind of like we or something. We we. <laughs> Me, me, that's what it is. So, yes. right, me, me. <laughs> that's, the, that's the fancy name of it. So, do you see, have you smelled the right me, me? <laughs> I don't even know how this mug bag is going. Like, I don't even know how I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking trash, guys. So, this was, it's Friday. We got nothing to do. Right. Uh, nothing. What we had nothing to do for the last. I mean, it's plenty of work, work type stuff to do, but it's cool outside. We would be outside right now. We, uh, we want to get one of the fire pits. So you watch them home, one of them home important videos that we did like a couple days ago. You're gonna see a little bitty, excuse me, a little bitty fire pit over there. I think whenever I get a chance to get out the house and I gotta go get something, I'm gonna ease down there and go get that. Ease, yeah, ease. Cause you can't really can't go nowhere. And I don't be want to go everywhere, man. I don't. I be terrified. And then with my N95 mask, what I do is I use the same mask because I, I have no more. And I got a case. So I wipe the case down. I have these wonderful bleach wipes from uh, Clorox wipes from um, Ace Hardware Store. So I wipe that down real good. I keep them in the car and I keep her bleach bottle. That she made me in the car, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess up a lot of clothes. Make that the house. Well, the thing is, she made it for me because she's the one who be wanting me to go to the store and get stuff for her. Oh no, see. And so, oh. what? I don't be wanting to go to the store and get nothing. I, I I say when I want people here, I want to get a water hose. You the one needed neck bone and beer and socks. Flour and so on and whatever. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. I think you're trying to get rid of me. We're not. We're not where? I'm not going to participate in your humor shenanigans. You participated by nope. saying something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, we should have went live and we were just going to sit here and eat black eyed peas. Yeah. Cause I'm, fi- I'm finished with what, what I had to do. Me. So, but that's all I got right there, guys. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was good. That was tasty. Okay. Well. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Till next time. I didn't eat this meat. Please subscribe. Hit that bell. Thank you.